How do you make the artboard transparent in Illustrator? I'll give you a secret. It already is, but maybe you can't see that. So to see the transparency, because you can see here that it looks like it's just a white background right now, but to see the transparency, we need to go up to view and we're going to go down to show transparency grid. That's shift command D or shift control D on windows. And once you click that, it's going to show where there is transparency in your entire document. You can see I still have this artboard outlined. However, the transparency is going to show everywhere. This gives you reassurance that you have transparency in your background and that you don't just have a shape back there that's white. So once you have created objects, so if we create an ellipse out here, we'll still be able to see our objects. But if the background is transparent behind them, it'll show that transparency. I don't work in this mode often. I would just use it to check to make sure there's transparency. Generally, I hide that because I know that on my artboard, it's going to be transparent if I don't put an object there. The biggest issue here is how do I get that transparency in my export? And that's where you need to know the different types of file types that include transparency. So if I were to go up to file, down to export, and go to either export for screens or export as, then I'm going to look at the format. The format down here is going to give me transparency or not. JPEG does not have transparency. A lot of other file types can include it, but JPEG is one that doesn't. So if you have that white background on your JPEG, you need to switch to PNG for transparency. So PNG, probably SVG, and also what's not in here because you can just save your Illustrator document, not export your file, is PDF. PDF will also include transparency. Now a PNG will not include the vector form, but an SVG will include vector, so it'll be infinitely scalable. Same with PDF, it will also be infinitely scalable. So PNG, SVG, and PDF will include that transparent background. Probably your Photoshop doc, if you export as Photoshop, it will also include that, although that's not really usable, that's mainly to go over to Photoshop. So you need to use one of those file types when you export. And if you want to use the artboard as an export and not just your entire document, you need to make sure you check mark use artboards and then select the range or select the number of artboards or the actual specific artboard. In this case, we just have artboard one. So if we just select one here, it's going to export only this artboard. So like I said before, up in file, you actually have save or save as, and instead of saving it as an Illustrator document, you can actually save it as a PDF. Now I forgot one more very important, very common file type, and that is EPS, which is a file type I use a lot for logos. So if I wanna save the logo without the background, EPS file will include the vector form. It's kind of like a different type of Illustrator file, um, but we can utilize it in different ways uh, and, and logos a lot of times are EPS so that you have that vector format of the logo with the transparent background. So those are the different file types that include transparency, which is even more important than uh, just seeing the transparency in your document. And that is how to make your artboard have a transparent background.